Finally, I catch the pesky little critters on camera. There we go. Hey guys, Dusty with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. We got Brooksy and Marissa in here. Uh, Marissa and I have been staying and Brooksy's been taking a nap so Marissa and I can work on the barn. We got Jackie and Maya with us. Big Joe Herd way back here. We've got our calves right up here in the front. Uh, as you can see, we've got some rain, which is uh, very exciting. Got some things we have to cover today. One, Marissa and I are gonna take you out with us. We're gonna put out some hay to the big joe herd get them taken care of too we're going to talk about our weaning calves and about the weaning process and why we have them pinned up right here close to our barn also i got some exciting footage i've been putting the game trail cameras out and i'm excited for some footage got lots of different animals and wildlife showing up at the ponderosa and some that we normally don't see and i've been trying to track these guys down and i finally found them hope you guys are ready for a new bison video Kind of a cool, chilly morning. It's always fun to see the bison's breath coming up out of the air in the early morning sun. I better get this wrap off here before Big Joe won't let me. Marissa and I are gonna grab this old feed bin. This feed bin has been used in Pasture 3 as a temporary bin for our trace minerals for all of our bison in Pasture 3. We gotta get it out because the calves need a feed bunk to start the weaning process. Because we're gonna start feeding them our four way blend rations. We're gonna get it out of pasture three and take it to the front, put it in with the calves. This is cracking pecans. Get the gate. to escape.
so you can see whose babies these are. We got Kit, it's one of them, and then a Peter Cole mama, it's one of them. Uh, the rest of the herd went out in the pasture. We let them out in pasture three. You can kind of see who these mamas are. And then you got Eleanor. Close. Let the mom and dad, or let, I guess their dad, Dunbar, I mean Big Joe, go nose to nose, but these calves will keep them up close. We can literally see them every day when we walk in our barn here. There's Jackie back down there, she's on the floor. And then we can hand feed them so they get used to us daily. Yeah, keep an eye on them. It's a good way to start them. Used to it. Hey, little guys. <laughs> Trying to get them some hay knocked off here of this fresh bell. Take off this top layer right here. Hold it down like that. Top layer. Some of them may or may not eat it. It's okay. And turn it into bedding. But they'll pick out what they want. But underneath that outside crusted layer lays the good stuff. That they won't. No pick through it. There you go, let's go. There we go, taken care of. Let's get the net wrap picked up. This is how we kind of do our weaning process here. So we've got them pinned up right here, kind of where our, our run was, where we have the skid steer that pushes the bison, and then they go out through there into the squeeze chute. So this is that alley uh, that we use. But um, this is nice because you can see the herd is right out here. And they can come up, the mamas can come up, which they've already been doing for a couple of days. And... Um, hang out with these calves that are in the weaning so they still get nose to nose they still get in their smells sounds all that so we do this for i don't know a week or so maybe two weeks and then we um take them and then we'll move them back over here which they won't be still very far from the uh, others uh once they move they won't be very far from the main herd and they can still get their sounds and smells so yeah, this is what we do. I just gave him some hats. I'm a, I'm a little bit out of breath, but um, this is kind of convenient for us in the way we do it. So it's really a, uh, you know, we only, only kept four this year. The reason why we only pulled back four is basically anything that was like 350 and above, we kept. And the reason that is, is if the mamas are okay health-wise, if the mamas are okay and they're not being pulled down, by the calves that don't weigh as much then you know we don't have to keep them and start weaning them the ones that are still out there didn't weigh uh enough uh, i feel like they need to get at least those seven months 
of time with mom to make sure they get all those good nutrients from mama's milk and, and let mom teach them how to do things and, and grow and, and be a young bison. And um, so some of those cows just weren't ready yet. And that's why we only kept four out of the 13. And you guys know we've had some late bloomers. The 32 cow had her calf a little heifer calf in October. We had some born in August. And so when that happens, we can't pull those calves off yet. And um, so we went ahead and put them back out and then we can catch them again later. Um, and so they'll get their spring vaccinations as well. And maybe we can catch them then. We may decide to pull them off earlier, but if the mom is in a healthy condition and is not losing a bunch of weight and can't barely take care of herself and for a calf, then um, we'd have pulled them off. But all these mamas with calves currently, what I call those late bloomers, the late born ones, we can leave them on with them out in the pasture for now. So I've been wanting to show you guys some of our trail camera footage that we've got set up around the Ponderosa, specifically this third pond that's in pasture three. There were two things that was really encouraged me to set these trail cameras up. When me and the girls were hunting during rough season, I really wanted to see where the bucks were going and what kind of bucks were running through the Ponderosa. And number two, we've got some pesky critters that's been coming around the Ponderosa and doing some damage. And I've been seeing what they've been doing for about a month and a half now, and I really haven't been able to catch them obviously so i set the trail camera up to try to catch them as well and see where they're coming from and how many there were here we got a doe and two fawns hanging around the pond here it's a pretty pond the pond dam needs to be cleaned up a little bit but that's okay it's a future project for us but i want to set this trail camera up in pasture three and i knew that um the bison would show up eventually and uh, get some night footage of them this is something that you typically don't see on our channel but as you can see where the doe and the two fawns were grazing is the same place the bison are grazing. And this is an area where it's under some big pecan trees. And basically, uh, these are some winter grasses that are growing here. And the bison and the deer are hitting the same spots, grazing some of that fresh green growth under these pecan trees. And also, the bison are going to get a drink of water as well down here in this beautiful pond. Here are some of the young Breeding age females are coming up from the Big Joe herd. These are some of the females from South Dakota and some of our wolverine heifers from Canada. You can see the calves here hanging out, scratching on the dirt mounds. You've got a little red dog coming up, uh, the latest red dog from the 32 cow, getting a good drink of water all by itself. And then sure enough, finally, I catch the pesky little critters on camera. As you can see, they come in early one morning and get a little glimpse of them and then they come back the next night early early in the morning they're coming in and here i got some good footage of them and all i can see is about two of them so far that i've caught on camera but look at the damage that these guys have done how fast and if i've only seen two on camera you can see about a week of footage i'm catching these guys on camera and now I know how many there kind of are that are doing all the damage. It's a wild looking pig with all the weird markings. And being white, it's easy to spot on camera. And then, of course, some more interesting critters that have been coming on the Ponderosa property is you got a pair of coyotes here. You can see one drinking down by the pond and another one coming across the camera. Marissa and I and Brooks, when we were hunting, saw this pair of coyotes, and we've been seeing them around the Ponderosa. This pond is not very far from the barn, actually. We're kind of keeping an eye on those coyotes as they get a little bit closer to the barn. And then here we've got our beautiful princess, Eleanor, coming up for a drink. And then back again, we've got another one of those Getting coyotes closer and closer on the barn. coming across um, in one evening. Working on it. Now it's time to slow down a little bit for the holidays and and uh, enjoy this munchkin here. From the Bakers, Dusty, Marissa, and Brooks, we just want to thank all of our supporters. We want to thank everybody that has purchased, whether it's merchandise or meat or our bison jerky and snack sticks. Thank you guys for trying something new. 
even if you've never had bison before we hope that everybody enjoys all their products thank you guys for your supporting love and care towards our missions and our goals raising the american bison trying to bring back their heritage their culture their spirit and trying to keep it alive here in a small ranch in southern oklahoma thank you guys for watching us and being a part of this journey hope you guys have a wonderful and merry christmas and a happy new year thank you guys for being a part of our channel We'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching.